It's episode 124 of the big show, of the big shoe, and we'd like to start out this episode like we do, like we've been trying to do all of the episodes, by trying to catch you, the listener, up. Trying to catch you up on the things that we're doing, because this is the 124th episode, and as a result of that, there's a possibility, however unlikely, that you may not have heard all 120 episodes up until this point. There's a lot that we do on the show. So uh, a, as a public service, really, to you, the listener, we would like to uh, catch you up on yes. what has happened up to this point, what has happened to get us to episode 124. Uh, so we would like to... Uh, uh, start off the show we've been trying to do lately with previously on the Pope on film. Yes. Well, the day finally arrived last week. The day that everyone has been waiting for. The big day. Lord Chatterfield's son was finally born. The heir to the massive Chatterfield fortune. Yes. Oh, my God. And what, what a gala event that was. It was a huge event. That was a huge event. So a lot of people are upset about this, about the fact that the uh, the Baron Chatterfield has now been born. Yes. Because a lot of people were, were vying for that Chatterfield fortune. Uh, and, of course, Lady Chatterfield. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a whore. Lady Chatterfield. Whore. whore. Yeah. Still hasn't told Lord Chatterfield that Lord Chatterfield's brother, Roger, is in fact the father. She's keeping that. Mm -hmm. It seemed as if while she was in pain and labor that she might spill the beans, but she did not. And she went through. And now Lord Chatterfield has a son, but it's not really his son. And of course, Lady Chatterfield fell ill right before the child was born, and now she's in a coma. So huge drama there. Huge drama. Really, edge-your-seat drama. Meanwhile, uh, Duchess Waverly's secret has finally been exposed. That was another big deal there. Huge deal. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget the fact that the butler was, of course, drunk again. Yes. Got to mention that. That butler always drunk. But he's so so funny. You know? Yeah. Funny. He's like Otis from Andy Griffith. You know? Yeah. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. He's not like the one in, in The Shining. Oh, yeah, no, no, not at all. So the big question is, will Lady Chatterfield emerge from her coma? Will Lord Chatterfield learn the truth about his newborn son? And will the butler be drunk again? Of course he's going to be drunk again. Yes. That's the butler. Anyway, what will happen? He's, he's going to get his own spinoff show. I think so. I think yeah. so. I think so. It's going to be Chesterfield, because that's the butler's name. <laughs> Ch- Field, and he's going to be all like, yeah. So, will Lady Chatterfield emerge from her coma? And will Lord Chatterfield learn the truth? Find out tonight on the Pope on Film. Well then, Bunny. Yes. Uh, Bundertaker. <laughs> the, the Buntimate Warrior. Okay. Bundre the Giant. Bundre that one was a bit of a stretch. Yeah. Before we go any further, uh, let's talk about Netflix. There, I, I want to talk about Netflix because there is a new show, new-ish. There's a new-ish show that is on Netflix. It's for kids. Yes. It's a kid show that, A, I did not know about. It just entered its second season, and I, I had no clue of its existence. And, B... I don't think that anybody else knows about either, and that's the shocking part because of what the show is about. Oh, okay. I really do think that, I really do think that this is a show that everybody needs to know about. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is another public service to you, the people. So it's a toddler show, like Dora the Explorer or Blue's Clues or anything like that. It, it's uh-huh. a it's it's a toddler show. Uh. Like like Dora or, or Blue's Clues or Cop Rock, you know, all of those toddler shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's called Beat Bugs. Beat Bugs. Okay. Beat Bugs. 
and oh my god, my whole family's in love with the show, and Eleanor likes the show, and and uh, Bella and 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 Maxwell love the show, and Emeralds watched a few episodes because they're adorable. Here's here's the thing, okay? Uh huh. It's about these bugs and these insects and these creatures, and they all live in like a big yard, a front yard or a backyard. They live in a yard in big, tall grass, and they have a whole world there. But basic computer-generated graphics, and there's two, you know, 11-minute cartoons in each episode, and each cartoon is based around a different Beatles song. A different Beatles song, okay. It's a Beatles cartoon for preschoolers. <laughs> and it's free right now on Netflix. There's no way that people know about this show, because if people know about this show, it would be a lot more popular. Now, I, I love the Beatles. I think we both really love the Beatles. But for something like this, I got to say, I think it would be better if they went with Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Well, well, here's here's the shocking part. Here's the shocking part. I was shocked with the songs that they used. Yeah. I mean, they do songs that you would expect them to do. There's a really adorable Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds episode where uh, one of the bugs has a hard time sleeping. So they find this dragonfly with uh, kaleidoscope eyes that helps him fall asleep without nightmares. I am the walrus. It's a flashback episode to the first time that the silly slug comes into the garden yeah. and no one knows what it is because oh, they've never seen a slug before. What are you? You're so big and slimy. Are you a walrus? And everyone's kind of scared of him and weirded out by him. So he decides to be nice to them and he comes in singing, I am the walrus. So that was surprising. Eleanor Rigby, Eleanor Rigby is, a, is an adorable episode, but there's some deep cuts. There are some deep Beatles cuts that they use. For example, the first episode that I saw. Yeah. Why don't we do why don't we do it in the road? Nice. That's that's surprising for a children's show. They, it, it's true. They find a toy car and they don't know what a car is, so they're playing with it in the garden. But they keep crashing into things and stuff. So they're trying to figure out like where should we where should we ride this vehicle? Should we do it in the garden? No. No. Should, should we do it in the grass? No. I've got an idea. Why don't we do it in the road? So. Yeah, they use Why Don't We Do It in the Road. There's also an episode about, uh, uh, there's an episode for You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, which is originally written about their game manager. No mm -hmm. gay stuff in this episode. There's no gay stuff in, in that episode. They also do a uh, cartoon about the song Getting Better. But surprisingly, they omitted the line, I used to be cruel to my woman, I beat her. And kept her apart from the things that she loves. I don't know why they cut that part out. Yeah. It's an I important thought... lesson to learn. Yeah. And you might as well learn it in childhood. Yeah. Life yeah. sucks, kids. Yeah. Anyway, this show is freaking adorable. And not a lot of people know it exists. So if you have or know anyone with little ones, you basically owe it to them to inform them of the existence of the Netflix cartoon Beat Bugs. There's yes. two seasons currently available. They do a lot of Beatles songs. So far, though, I, I looked. So far, they haven't done Helter Skelter. Mm -hmm. They haven't done uh, You Know My Name, Look Up the Number. <laughs> another one of my favorite Beatles songs. And they have not done Happiness is a Warm Gun. I'm I'm eagerly looking forward to that episode. Yes. That's going to be a good episode. That that do. should especially if, you know, if they all arm the children. Yeah. yeah and, the and children should be armed. Yeah. I was surprised that they did do an episode for the Beatles song Honey Pie. Aha. Uh -huh. There's an episode for that, which is weird. <laughs> Only like two lines over and over again, but they do an episode for Honey Pie. So, oh, oh they also have not done an episode for Piggies. I'm waiting for Piggies. For piggies. <laughs> Basically, or Revolution Number Nine. While we're at it, basically any song that caused um, Charles Manson to go insane. Was that all the White Album? Yes. 
Yes. And Bungalow Cause like, Bill. Cause like, I'm also waiting for Bungalow Bill. Because you kind of think like of mystery, magical mystery tour as like their really fucked up album, but it wasn't. Oh no! And it was no, like pretty yeah, much. No, it, it was like the White Album that 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 had Obla Di Obla Die and and when I'm 64 as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, okay, we are going mm. across the when, universe. One may say. When I'm 64 was uh, Sergeant Pepper. Was Sergeant Pepper okay? Because that was Paul in his most theatrical. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. That sort of thing. So uh, we are experimenting in this episode with a with the Pope on film, The Live Experience. Yeah. Uh, just in case you're listening to this just on SoundCloud. So right now we are live on uh youtube streaming and yes. a lot of bells and whistles and it looks really really nice so and, uh, and it's, it's, if you are watching that and it's taking like every bit of horsepower i've got to do it so i'm not even able to uh watch it right now and like monitor it much i can just work the console Jeannie says that your voice is yeah. not coming through so only the people on soundcloud are hearing this <laughs> <laughs> 